my parents, uh, I was too young to go to, the, to be in the, uh, the war services. Uh, my parents had a fruit block at Tresco and uh, a lot of the pilots and officers used to come out to my parents' place and socialise over a weekend. Uh, alcohol was hard to get during the war and of course the officers mess had an endless supply and anyone that turned up at our place with a few bottles of beer was always made most welcome by my father. And I was a little boy, in those days, little boys were seen and not heard, and I'd sit around the dinner table, and these pilots would be, uh, uh, they'd be talking about how they'd uh, sunk ships and uh, shot down other aircraft. And they used to put a pilot's cap on my head and say to me, what are you gonna be when you grow up, Dick? Oh, right, I was gonna be a pilot. Anyway, Scotty Allen, who was the commanding officer here, who actually flew with Kingsford Smith, Sir Charles Kingsford Smith, uh, was out there and he was a, a broad Scotsman. He was out at our place and I heard him say to my mother, he always referred to me as the wee laddie. Uh, I will organise a flight in, the, in a cat for the wee laddie's birthday, which is coming up. And I couldn't get to school quick enough to tell all the kids about it. I rode my bike into the uh, Air Force base here. And of course the guard, uh, they were, had to be all told about it because you didn't get in here because there was a guard here with a 303 rifle, an arm uh, and, a, and a bayonet. He stepped out and said, yes, young man, what can I do for you? And uh, I said, I've got to see Mr. Allen, Scotty Allen, because I'm going for a flight in a Catalina. Well, you leave your bike here and you go over and knock on that tin shed over there, which I did. I walked through the middle of the Air Force base here as though I owned the place, knocked on the door, and uh, aye, come in, it's the wee laddie. And they had a skeleton crew there to, uh, to fly the aircraft, which uh, civilians weren't allowed in military, uh, uh, in military aircraft to start with, but this uh, was only a test flight, uh, a radio test. There was the two pilots, a wireless operator, a flight engineer and myself, and we, went, we were, got in the launch and went out and got it climbed into this Catalina. And I'll, they said, you stop down near the gun blisters, Dick, because you can see out of there. And the two pilots went up front, and next thing, the starting up of these two great big motors. And we taxied across the other side of the lake, and a little bit of jargon on the inter and over the intercom, and the wiggle on the controls. And then they opened up the, the full power on those two throttles opened up. The noise inside's unbelievable. With those two great big 1200 horsepower Pratt & Whitney motors, exercising their authority. And you couldn't see out of the blisters then when we were uh, uh, going across the lake on the takeoff run for the spray flying. And then we just lifted off and banked around over, over the Air Force base here and headed for Swan Hill. Well, it, when you fly over irrigation or over channels and over a little river, uh, you get uh, a bit of lift on the, with the aircraft, it bumps up and down. And the big 100 foot wingspan was flexing a bit. And it wasn't long because my birthday's in November and it was a warm sort of a day. It wasn't long before uh, sweat was coming out of my forehead. And I thought to myself, I don't know whether I like this. Well, it was over Swan Hill and a big steep bank over Swan Hill. Uh, that was the end of that. Young Dick let go. No sick bags in military aircraft. When we landed, they had to send a, uh, water, a fire tender out to hose the back of the aircraft out. They put the, my bike in the back of the staff car and they took, took me home uh, to my mother and, uh, and she cleaned me up and oh my goodness, she couldn't, what's, that, where you, what's up with you? Didn't you like your flight in the Catalina? No, I didn't like it at all. Anyway, uh, that night the crew came out to our place for tea and I'm still feeling a bit ask your father and they laughed when they came in. And they looked at me and they said, you still want to be a pilot, Dick? Well, after all these years, I am. <laughs>